July 28, Tuesday of the 17th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the Son of Man, the field is the world. The good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send His angels, and they will collect out of His kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evil doers they will throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father whoever has ears ought to hear the gospel of the lord the harvest The parable of the weeds portrays Jesus providing enlightenment for his disciples. In addition, it also asserts that the harvest will come at the end of time. How might we be prepared for the final judgment? In his 2018 apostolic exhortation, Gaudete et Exultate, Rejoice and Be Glad, Pope Francis praises what he calls the middle class of holiness. This includes ordinary Christians and is often found in our next-door neighbors. Francis lists five signs of contemporary holiness. First, there are perseverance, patience, and meekness. Second, one has joy and a sense of humor. Ill humor is no sign of holiness. Third, one needs boldness and passion. The church needs passionate missionaries. Two additional manifestations of holiness are community and constant prayer. Growth in holiness is a journey in community made up of small, everyday things. Moments spent alone with God are also necessary. This is true not only for a privileged few, but for all of us. How can I follow the insights of Pope Francis and thus be better prepared to face the final judgment?